Hi everybody, welcome back to Learn English with Chef Joanna. Today I'm going to show you how to make a crepe or crepe. All right guys, so I am in España, Spain, and uh, I have limited utensils, so I'm going to do my best to show you the correct way to make the crepes. And the reason I chose this is because it is a super simple, basic recipe. Uh, most of you probably have all the ingredients in your cupboard. Uh, it's mainly flour, eggs, uh, milk, and a little salt, oil, or butter. Okay, so um, a little dash of sugar. So I'm just going to go over how to make the batter, and then we are going to cook it in our nonstick pan. So, let's get started. This is going to make about two to three crepes. So, um, it's a very small recipe, but it can be scaled up, just double the recipe, and you can make six or more crepes, and you can make them ahead of time, and I'll keep uh, going over whatever we can do here. Okay, so in a bowl, we're going to first mix a third a cup of flour. It's just regular all-purpose flour um, or harina de trigo, okay? And then um, we should have a whisk, but all I have is a fork. So I'm going to have to put some muscles into it to get it to uh, mix up good. Um, we're going to get our sugar. So we just need a tablespoon of sugar for this. Just a little sweet. This is a tablespoon. A little sweet. Uh, it's going to provide the color for the crepe. So um, you can not put it, but it does give a little flavor. And these are going to be slightly sweet crepes, so you can put uh, marmalade, jam, honey, and just a pinch of salt. So this is probably like an eighth to a quarter teaspoon of salt. You can add more if you want to make a savory crepe, um, or you can just use this for savory as well, ham and cheese, whatever you like. I'm going to just mix this up. So we mix our salt, sugar, and flour. It's not very much here. Then we're going to put our eggs. So I got two eggs. These are large eggs. Okay. So I'm just going to whip those up a little bit here. Whip them in the well. You can see I made a well here. In the center, I'm mixing them up. Again, I'm using a fork, but you should have a whisk to do this. Okay, so I'm going to whip that up and then incorporate my flour into this. And you don't want to over mix because it will get tough, but you want to mix until it's pretty smooth, the batter, okay? So see, this is going to be thick, that's okay. We're going to add our milk in a second. Perfect, so we see it's pretty smooth here, it's not really lumps, okay? As soon as it's smooth, stop, don't mix more. We're going to slowly add our half cup of uh, milk, leche, okay? And just add a little bit, mix, add a little bit, mix, and you want to get to the consistency of heavy cream, so like a thick cream, okay? And we're looking good. It's going to be a pretty thin batter. It's liquidy. That's good. This is not pancakes. These are crepes. Pancakes would be a very thick, more of like a cake batter. Okay. Very good. 
All right. Um, it would be best for let, letting this sit for 30 minutes to an hour. Um, you can even make this the day ahead and put it in the refrigerator. And it's going to be really good because that the flour will have time um, to soak and then you're going to have a very nice batter smooth. But it's okay as long as our batter is smooth, we're going to go ahead. Um, traditionally, you add melted butter, one tablespoon. But I don't have butter, I'm going to use a little olive oil. It would be best to use canola oil or another um, neutral oil. But when in Spain, <laughs> we're going to do this. I'm just going to do a little bit of oil in the pan. We're going to heat it to a medium heat. Get that going here. And I just want to get a um, napkin so we can just wipe away the excess oil. Okay. Mix that oil up. Beautiful. It's like a heavy cream. Then I'm going to move over, get a better shot. Alright guys, sorry for the angle, but uh, this is the best that I can do at the moment so you can see it. I got a ladle here. We're just going to ladle not the whole thing, just to cover the base here. I'd say it's about a third a cup, okay? So we're gonna heat it up a little more. It's a little low, heating up. And just coat, swirl your pan until it coats all the areas of the pan. All right, so just one, there's a little golden brown color. We can check it here. <laughs> this is ready to flip. We're going to flip it over. Okay. And now it's a little warm, but we still want to keep that medium high heat. See it starting to bubble here? This is the perfect pan to do it in, nonstick, large pan and easily you can swirl it to move the batter. So this should take around like three minutes uh, total. The pan was a little, um, it wasn't so hot in the beginning, so taking a little longer. But it is going very well. All right guys. That is our first crepe. today thanks for watching um, you can eat this with marmalade I'm just going to show you quickly how to do it so just take one fold it in half I have a little apricot jam here Whoop. get a tablespoon or a little less uh, one of my favorites is also lemon and sugar or lemon and honey so while they're still warm you can just go ahead and spread it on here and you have this with your little coffee or tea in the morning or afternoon for me the afternoon right now dessert fold it over and that's it you dust a little powdered sugar or cinnamon 
And that is your finished crepe, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Enjoy.